Hi, welcome to Domino's 5x5 Mexican style with Mr. Jesus. Now, by now you probably think that you are Domino's 5x5 Mexican style masters, but I'm going to slow you down. You are not masters quite yet. Today, I'm going to show you how to play defense. Now, we're playing this game with three players. Let's get right to it. Remember, this is the first game, the first round. We start with a double of sixes because that's just the way it goes. Now, okay. Now, I have nothing to count with here. So, what do I do? I want to make sure that the opponent has as little chance as possible of counting the person that's to my right right so this is a no-no do not unless you have no choice play the 6-4 after the double of sixes is played okay I repeat do not play this because you will be unlucky and they will have the double of fours so do not play this okay Instead, play the other six you have. That way you have less chances of them counting anything. Now this is still all luck, you know, because they could still have the two and three and then count 15. But let's just see how it goes. Let's see what they have. Now, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to look at my opponent's pieces. What do you know? They had the doubles four. Now let's rewind and see what would have happened if I had played the 6-4. 20. 8 plus 12 is 20. We already showed you this combo move in another video. But just so you know, like you don't want to start off at that, you know. So you minimize the chances of them counting. By putting the 6-2 instead. And what do they put? The double of twos. They don't count. Now it's my turn again. And we're focusing solely on playing defense. So if this is the scenario I'm in. This is what, what I'm thinking. Okay. If I play this. Right here. What pieces could my opponent count with? So if you have six total, what do you need to make ten? You need four, right? What's a way to add four to the board? It's by playing the six, four, ten. Now, since I have it, I know for a fact that my opponent doesn't have it. So they will not count, no matter what, right? So this is the move I make. And put them in a bind. Now, now I narrowed my opponent's options, you know, because I already established that the I had the six four to count ten with, and the three two is already out here, so you can't put it again. You can't add two more to this side, because it's already here. So those are two pieces that you could count with that I eliminated. So let's see what my opponent does. Again, scoreless. Now, you can't, you can't be sure. This isn't foolproof. You know, you can only do your best. You're taking educated guesses based on probabilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this over here. Because there's two ways that my opponent can count here, can score. You can add three here or here. Now, it's impossible to add three here. Why? Because this has already been played. So a piece that my opponent can score with is already down on the board, which means that they don't have it. Now, a piece that they might have is the 6-3. Remember, you can play off the first doubles on both sides, on all four sides. So my opponent might have the 6-3, but I use my educated guess. I say, well, they haven't played a six yet, so it's likely that they don't have one. Now, I could be wrong. They could be saving the sixes, you know? 
but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Now let's see. Does my opponent have 6-3? Nope. Zero one. So see, three turns in a row, scoreless. You know. Now it's my turn again. My opponent put this piece down. Now here, I know we're focusing on playing defense. You know, but I could score ten points, and then I would go again. Now, should I do that? The answer is yes. Try to score when you can. Even though we're focusing on defense, you know, it's only if you can't score. So, 10. Okay, remember, then you go again. Let's see. Now let's play defense again. Now notice how I'm shutting down this opponent right here. But over there, they only have one piece left because they've been counting all a bunch because I'm giving this opponent such a hard time. So you got to kind of know, like, if you're going to play hard defense, you might be playing into the hands of the third person. Um, so that's just something to keep an eye out. Now, I'm going to play this because I know that person's going to probably win already. I have three pieces. So this is the most dots, the most pips that I have to, that I can get rid of, you know, so the winner doesn't get as many points. So I'm going to play this. Now notice that here, it's still mathematically impossible for them to count. No matter what piece they have, they're not going to count again, you know, because they would need a, they would need two points to make a total of fifteen. There's thirteen on the edges right now. They would need two to make fifteen, so they would have a six-two. Well, six-two is already out there, so no. Okay. If they wanted to do the 4-1 right here, they could be 4 plus 1 plus 5, which is 10. But the 4 ones already over here. You know, it could be 10 with 4 and 4 plus 2 over here. But this is the 5-2. It's already been played. So no matter what, they can't count. Now let's see what they do. Now once again, the strategy is to get rid of as many pips as you can if you know you're going to lose. Right? So I think that one has 9. So, it's the biggest one they have. So, they're going to put it over here. Let's see if my the third person wins. Dominoes plus 10 points. So, 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 4, 10 points. That opponent wins. And they take all of these. Add them up, round them to the nearest five, and that's how many points they score. A dominoes is a blend of defense, offense, and figuring out who has what pieces using educated guesses and gut feelings. So it's the beauty of dominoes, you know, that you can kind of read people, you can you can guess and like be pretty sure about it, and if you're right about it, it feels pretty cool, you know. So um that was defense and pretty much advanced strategy for dominoes, 5x5 Mexican style with Mr. Hissels.